Good morning, guys. So you guys did an awesome job yesterday working on our doubles facts where we actually went 6 plus 6, 7 plus 7, 8 plus 8, 9 plus 9, and 10 plus 10. So we're going to practice that a little bit more today and move on to where we can solve problems if we know our doubles plus 1. So just to kind of get us a warm up, we're going to practice our doubles facts real quick. All right, here we go. Doubles. I can add doubles. It's no trouble for me to add doubles. 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 I can add doubles. It's no trouble for me to add doubles. One plus one equals two. Two plus two equals four. Three plus three equals six. Four plus four equals eight. Five plus five equals 10. We're going to do the bigger ones. I can add doubles. It's no trouble for me to add doubles. 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 I can add doubles. It's no trouble for me to add doubles. Big doubles. Plus 6 equals 12. 7 plus 7 equals 14. Plus 8 equals 16. 9 plus 9 equals 18. 10 plus 10 equals 20. Doubles, doubles, I can add doubles. It's no trouble for me to add doubles. Doubles, doubles, I can add doubles. It's no trouble for me to add doubles. All right, all right, after our warm up, we're ready to go ahead and get started. So we're gonna be using our doubles facts to help us with this, okay? So it says, Carlo and I each pick five strawberries. What doubles fact shows how many strawberries we both have? So we know that if we say we both pick five, that means that each of us are going to have five. So I've got five over here and I've got five over here. So what doubles fact would I write down for that? That's right, I would say five plus five equals 10. So here's my next part, it says if I pick one more strawberry, how could you find how many strawberries there were in all, okay? So she said she picked one more, so I'm gonna put one more over here. So now I don't have five plus five, I have five plus six. But if I know that five plus five is 10, I just added one more to all of them, so five plus six must be 11, very good, it's just gonna be one more. We're just going to the next number. So if I know that double, I can always find that double plus one too. All right, we're gonna watch a quick little video that's gonna help us with this. All right, here we go. You can use doubles plus one facts to add. Is this a doubles fact? Is it a doubles fact? No, it is not a doubles fact. Why? One reason is that both numbers being added are not the same. What is the difference between six and seven? The difference is one. So this fact is one more than a double or a double plus one. Doubles plus one facts are also called near doubles. You take the lesser number and make a doubles fact. Which addend is less, six or seven? Select your answer. So which number is less? Which one is smaller? That's right, it's the six. Six is less. Double the six. Oh, remember what was six what plus is six? Double six. We learn it in our song. Select your answer. Well, look at our answers. Six plus six, we know it can't be six. Six plus six, would it be 66? No, that would be if I added six tens and six ones. Six plus six is 12. Double six is 12. What do you have to do to six plus six? to find six plus seven. 
You have to add one. Why do you add one? Seven is one more than six. Six plus seven is six plus six and one more. What is the sum for six plus six? So we said it was 12. The sum is 12. So six plus seven is 12 and one more. What is one more than 12? I bet you guys can tell me. 12 and one more is 13. How do you know six plus seven is a doubles plus one fact? One reason is the add-ins are one number apart from each other. What is the sum of six plus seven? The sum is 13. You have learned how to use doubles to add doubles plus one. All right, you guys did an awesome job listening to how we use doubles plus one and use doubles to figure out our facts. All right, so we're gonna try a few of those. So let's see, up at the top, remember that's just the video that we just saw. So down at the bottom, what they're gonna do is they're gonna give you the same color if it's a doubles. So right here, it's showing me five purple, so, and then five purple, and I know that five plus five is 10, but then I add one more to make it five plus six, so I know that has to be 11. See, they're showing us that plus one in a different color. So over here, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I have eight and eight, which we said is what? 16, very good. But then I know that eight plus nine, if I added one more, it would have to be one more than 16, it would be 17, very good. All right, so we're gonna keep trying those, okay? So eight plus eight is 16. So eight plus nine would just be jumping one more and be 17. All right, let's try another one. All right, so this time they're making us really know our doubles facts. So it says seven plus seven. So seven plus seven is 14. All right, so eight plus seven, eight is one more than seven would be one more than 14, which would be 15. Very good. All right, four plus four, you guys know that one. Four plus four is eight, good job. So that means that four plus five is just one more, so it would be nine, perfect. All right, five plus five, 10. All right, so five plus six is that double plus one more, so it would be 11, very good. You can see the pattern, nine plus nine, that's a big double, what would that be? Nine plus nine is 18, so that means nine plus 10 must be 19, good job. All right, six plus six. 12, very good. So six plus seven, it'd be one more. So it'd be 13. Good job. Three plus three, you guys know that one, six. So three plus four would just be one more. So it would be seven, very good. All right, so these problems down here say higher order thinking. So it's gonna make us really, really think. It says Max has some blue marbles. Tom has some red marbles. Tom has one more marble than Max. How many marbles do they have in all? So they don't actually give us any numbers. So we're gonna get to choose our numbers. So it says Max has some blue marbles. So I'm just gonna get some blue counters. So we get to decide, okay? What if I just wanna put three? So Max has some blue marbles. Tom has some red marbles, so I need to make some red too. Tom has one more marble than Max, so I'm gonna do my matches, so that means that he's got three and one more, so that would be four. How many marbles do they have in all? So now I see how many were in my first group? 
three, very good. How many was in my second group? Three plus one, so that would be four. Now, if I didn't want to count them all, I could say, okay, three plus three is what double? Six, and then I would just add the one extra one and it would be seven. So I know three plus three is six, so three plus four must be seven. Very good. All right, Carrie and Pete pick seven cherries. How many cherries, oh, then Pete picks one more. How many cherries do they have in all? So let's think about that, are you ready? They each pick seven cherries. So I know that my double would be seven plus seven, okay? But then Pete picks one more. So that changes it to seven plus eight, okay? What do I know about seven plus seven? Seven plus seven is 14. So that must be that seven plus eight must be 15. Very good. So 15 cherries. All right, let's try another one. Manny and Pam each buy five apples. Then Pam buys one more apple. How many apples do they have in all? So Manny and Pam do five apples. So I know what five and five is. That's my original problem, okay? Five and five equals 10, good job. But then Pam buys one more. So it's not five and five anymore. It's five and six. And if five plus five is 10, then five plus six must be 11. So they have 11 apples in all. We're gonna skip this one for right now and we're gonna go to assessment. And remember, assessment is just another word for a test, very good. So it says Juan eats eight grapes after lunch. Then he eats some more grapes after dinner. He ate 17 grapes in all. How many grapes did Juan eat after dinner? So it says, Use a doubles fact to figure it out. Well, I know that eight plus eight equals what? 16, okay? So did I make it there yet? No, I need 17, so I need eight plus eight plus one more, okay? So I ate eight, I need to eat eight plus one, and what's eight plus one? Nine, that's right, because eight plus nine equals 17. Now, if I didn't want to use a double, I could also solve it a different way, okay? I could say, all right, it said I had eight grapes, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then I need to get to the number 17. So I can use my other ones, I'm at eight, then I need to go 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. So I could show it that way and see that my other group would have to be 9 if I didn't want to use a doubles fact. Okay, that's why we show you guys multiple ways because I want you to be able to figure out a way that works for you and that's easy for you and you understand, all right? All right, you guys did an awesome job. I will see you after fall break for math.